Good afternoon, everyone. We could have the highest barometric pressure ever recorded on the planet. Over Mongolia, that reading was taken at sea level. The previous record in 2004, also over Mongolia, was taken at a little bit above 10,000 feet. We got extremely late and rare typhoons in the West Pacific. Latest ever recorded hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. And even though these events are happening, global weather related disaster losses specifically from hurricanes is down year upon year. And to top it off, there's a cutoff low that's going to be bringing icy conditions to Southern California and Baja, Mexico next week. And thank you so much for my Patreon supporters. I have a special report coming out for you comparing the sun anomalies from three years ago to our current conditions. And I'm going to have that out for you in just a couple days. And please remember to press that subscribe button. Extraordinary high pressure system noted over Mongolia. Readings putting it at 1085. The world record is 1083. Taking a look at the Korean Meteorological Association. 1071 is what they have it at in several different charts going on November 21st. But here's the thing, this high pressure that was measured at 1084 and the world record was at 750 millibars, which is about 10,800 feet. This current reading was at sea level. So there's a gargantuan difference in this. And when they say in Northern Mongolia that the sea level pressure rose to a stunning 1085 world record, we're really splitting the hair there. It's about the altitude. Now staying on unusual events, Typhoon Tokage over the West Pacific, incredibly late, pushing in to a December typhoon tropical storm. This thing's going to be around for several more days. The storm itself is currently being sheared off by another low pushing down out of China. It's changing direction dramatically, but they just really don't know where it's going to go from this point or if it's going to re-strengthen. Again, look at the KMA and how that green pressure gradient coming through in the front is pushing that storm. Jumping over to the Gulf of Mexico, latest ever recorded Hurricane Otto. Stunning image here for you of the hurricane passing over the Yucatan Peninsula. Storm track for you here. These are the historical tracks that have gone through that same area later in November, but never this late. With all that said, the global weather-related disaster losses, as you keep hearing again and again from the IPCC, do not exist. As a percentage of global GDP, it's on the decline. It has been since 2010. And we take a look at the hurricane damage from Cat 5 or even Cat 4 storms that we heard so much about. CO2 is going to increase the amount of hurricanes. It's going to be so strong and we're going to have to move off the coast nothing since 2005 and if you want to look at it in a different way since the year 1900 the days between major hurricanes which is cat 345 landing in the u.s is the greatest amount ever at 4,300 days and plus as it still continues in the next hurricane season anomalous weather a cutoff low going to be sending incredibly cold weather and wind down to Southern California and Baja. This is for the December 3rd forecast. Look at the Northern Hemisphere here for December 2nd. Hot spots, cold spots, it's all mixed up. Taking a different look at the two meter Arctic temperature anomalies. It's a mishmash, our weather, our cloud patterns, Everything is going out of whack due to this grand solar minimum that is intensifying. And if you think this is anomalous, just wait until these next few years until we get into the bottom of the cooling around 2023 or 2024. Then you can truly say you've seen unusual weather. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And with all these changes, it's going to affect our agriculture. Take a moment to jump over to Trade Genius talk with Bob. They're trading on the Grand Solar Minimum. They can give you insight into how they see crop prices increasing and where they see losses globally. And please remember to subscribe to my channel, Adapt 2030.